Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. We're going to tap into your energy and get a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Aries. Please keep in mind that these are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Try not to build a story if it's not resonating for you. Most likely the message is not for you. Check with the other placements, your rising sign, your moon sign, or any of the other zodiac that stand out to you. Aries, let's get into it. What is going on for Aries? Sun, moon, or rising? <sighs> Four cups. Similar to Capricorn's reading so far, Aries, if you might have some Capricorn in your chart. If so, check that out. Check that reading out. Three of Cups. Okay. Guess we're doing four this time. Oh, Justice. Hmm. Okay. Aries. So, been in a bit of a funk. Hmm? A little bit of a funk. Not feeling as bright and colorful and shiny, happy as you would like to. Especially when it comes to your friends, your connections to others, your relationships to others. Seems as though this has been... Um, something that's been teaching you some lessons, some things to understand, which you certainly are coming to an understanding. Page of Wands, Six of Wands. And not only an understanding, which is uh, Six of Wands is the card of victory, success, I get it. I'm moving beyond my past experiences. I'm moving beyond and I'm actually feeling inspired to try something new. This could be a new idea, a new inspiration, or just a newfound like, oh, I get it. I understand. It was me all along, right, universe? <laughs> um, or those that I chose to keep um, company with. Justice at the bottom, overall. Below that is death. So there's some justice, Aries, that is coming to you and your relationships to others. Balance, harmony, peace, equality. With the foundation and understanding that those that we are in relationship with are a direct mirror to that, those parts within us that we must be aware of at all times. We have death and the moon below that. I think something is finally clicking into place here, Aries, for you. Let's see, let's dive a little deeper into that. Why is the Four of Cups out here for Aries, please? What's going on with Aries? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so as you are moving beyond or, or kind of getting over some, I think it started off with pain and fear and just not understanding to just acting like I don't care, but deep down you do. You're finally finding a way to move past, move beyond those feelings that brought you into this, almost sucked you into like a black hole, so to speak. You're moving to higher ground um, emotionally. You're, you're beginning to feel better than you had been when it comes to 
your relationships to others, friendships, relationships. And there's definitely, as you start to feel better about yourself and an understanding about your parts and your patterns and your triggers and your wounds, we have the muse of inspiration. So again, there are sparks of fire inside of you, Aries, that says, I am ready. I'm ready to connect to people again. You're ready. You're ready to trust again. You're ready to try again. Tell me about the Three of Cups, please. And mostly, you're trusting yourself. And you are starting to see yourself in others. You're seeing the reflection. You're, you're analyzing your parts. You're analyzing what makes you tick, what makes you react and respond and behave in certain ways with certain people. We're not always the same person. We have multiple parts and multiple personalities. And we're not always the same personality depending on who we are around. We want to get to know all of those parts, those protector parts and um, rescuer parts and manager parts. And so we can get to our true soul's essence, our true self. So you may have gone to therapy or have done your own inner work, parts work, to come to greater understanding. Or you are still at that stage where you're diving into yourself, your inner psyche. Tell me about six of... Okay. Yes, this is learned behavior. Mm -hmm. Very similar to Capricorn's reading. The moon at the bottom... So what you're also, why it feels like such a, like overcoming, victorious, yay, aha, uh -huh, I get it, I, I get it, and I, I know I can change something now. This was learned, inherited patterns and learned behavior from your family, your ancestry, that has to do with, and they are protector parts, but some can be linked to we all have a little bit of inner narcissism within us. Um, it could be that or just uh, something very superficial and materialistic that really doesn't uh, get to the depth of you. And maybe you, because you're not showing all of your depth, neither are others. Do you see where I'm getting at here? And we end up being quite the mystery to each other until one of us becomes brave enough to be like, all right, I'm going to be vulnerable and transparent. This is me. This is me. This is all my parts. Love me or hate me. This is me. Death. And that's what's happening, Aries. Stripping away layer by layer by layer. Getting to know all your parts and transforming transforming and changing. This is a spiritual lesson and you may be receiving some guidance here at this time. Because the moon will show us the depths of our inner psyche, our, our emotions. We'll feel with the moon. It is sensory, sensitivity, intuition. There's a big, giant, gravitational pull. My right ear is ringing very loudly. It's almost as if... We'll see if there's a message here. you're uncovering hidden parts of yourself becoming aware of them becoming aware of patterns especially when it comes to your relationships to others and um, we'll, we'll, we'll get into it what else for Aries please All right. 
Nine of Cups, the world, the lovers, Six of Cups, yeah. Aries, what you are, what's, what? I get one more. Sorry, big message. Big message here. Six of Wands again. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All right, Aries. So, mm, you've had a big, like, 360 that's happening here. And we're going to just go backwards here. Ace of Swords. Clarity. Understanding. Insight. Perception. You've been reflecting back on your relationships to others, especially really important connections to you that you've formed, um, that you've, uh, or people that you've met that you sense, you know, I know I've known you before. There's a cosmic connection here and I'm, I'm supposed to know you. I'm supposed to learn something, learn something from you. Yes. What you're learning from others. You want to also take that, those lessons and integrate them, embody them, become this newfound um, understanding. Nine of Cups, what's important here? What is, what is of value when it comes to relationships to others? Heart, love, harmony, peace, confluence. We don't always have to see through the same lens, but we can feel each other. Even when there's duality, even when there are opposites, there's definitely, there are, uh, there's definitely also extreme similarities. We are all one. We are all, we're all made of the same essence. Six of Cups. So there's definitely been some reflecting back, reflecting back on important relationships, ones that really brought you joy and um, a sensation inside of um, home. You're overcoming, again, six of um, wands, a victory, uh, overcoming fears, overcoming challenges, overcoming patterns that you inherited and uh, learned through your family, your society, your upbringing. And there's new found wisdom and clarity here as far as um, what may have been causing you some challenges when it comes to how you relate to others. It's like, aha, I got Aha, uh -huh. I get it. I get it. I get it, universe. Okay. You may have thought that people were playing games with you. <laughs> uh, usually is how it works out. We think like these people are playing games. Something feels off. Something feels weird. But you're sensing when we do, when we feel those feelings, we're actually sensing the universe is like test you know that there's something here or something about the connection or something about the energy that you're like, your soul knows, your soul gets excited, but your ego's like, oh, wants to run away or fight or hide. Yeah. So let's get you one last message, Aries. Some advice for you. And if you're liking this video so far, please don't forget to click the like button below the video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and feel free to comment. I love to read all of your comments. And Aries, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can book that through my website, which is be the change 333.com. The information is also in the description box below this video. All right. Advice for Aries, thank you. It is what it is.
Hmm. That's kind of like <laughs> what this card is reminding me of. That feeling. It is what it is. It's a saying that I used to despise <laughs> when I was younger. And so this is radical acceptance. Engaging life on life's terms. Observing circumstances and taking them at face value. Recognizing and releasing resistance and denial. What happens when you look at the world? Can you see it exactly as it is or only as you assume it to be? A door closing is in not an invitation um, to take a battering ram to it. What if there were another door to lead you to your destiny? If you can release your attachment to getting what you want, you'll be surprised by how much energy you have for more important things. Liberated from the burden of yearning, you'll have access to what is best for all. Can you try now to accept things as they are and shift your focus and attention until that other door opens up for you? Radically accept life on life's terms. When you stop fighting against it and instead fight for what you truly desire, more of the world becomes available to you. When you are no longer in denial about what is in front of you, you will be empowered to make necessary changes with respect to yourself, your attitude, and your choices. The irony is the real transformation can happen once you surrender to the idea that things are exactly as they are meant to be. If you step back with clarity and acceptance, you will realize that life is offering you something magical. Even if circumstances send you on a temporary detour, you will discover treasure beyond your imagination and a new way to embrace the world. Keep this prayer in mind. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Wow, the serenity prayer. Very powerful prayer. And um, it seems as though you are coming to some form of acceptance and understanding, which definitely brings justice, balance, transformation, victory. So it looks like you are well on your way to some beautiful changes, Aries. I hope that you found this helpful for you and I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.